Hey, good evening, guys. We'll get to the local connections and many Michigan and Michigan State players saw their dreams come true today in a moment. But it was the Lions who kicked off the day by making a trade and then found five more players to add to their roster for the next few seasons. After trading pick 109 for pick 121 and added an additional fifth round pick, they went back to the offensive line and added Kentucky guard Logan Stenberg. Stenberg, he's a bulldog up front. Former Lion TJ Lang referred to his play as nasty. He was excited for the pick. There's no doubt the Lions made a commitment to adding to their running game in this draft as Stenberg is ready to bring that nasty attitude to Detroit's front line. I grew up with four older brothers, or three older brothers, four total. So, uh, you know, I was the youngest of all four. And growing up, I had to fight for everything, whether it be food or, you know, just whatever, my place in line. So uh, I think I really just kind of grew up with that nastiness to, you know, I have to fight for what I want, and it's carried over to football. Every time I can finish the guy across from me and we can move the defense water and better, a better chance of winning, and uh, that's what I plan to do uh, for the Lions. Well, the Lions were in need of depth at wide receiver as well. All of their current receivers have expiring contracts after this upcoming season. So adding Wisconsin star wideout Quintez Cephas with their fourth round pick was a good one. Now, Cephas was ranked the 38th best receiving prospect in this draft. And he missed an entire year and was even removed from the football team and school at Wisconsin after he was charged with criminal sexual conduct. Now, there was a trial, but a jury found Cephas not guilty. He was able to rejoin the university and team, and play his senior season. He was asked about that, but he wanted to move forward with the news today. I'm a receiver that, that makes, makes plays. Um, I'm a complete receiver. I, I'm willing to block. I'm willing to make catches. I'm willing to do whatever I need to do to help my team um, you know, be successful. So whatever that is, I'll do what I have to do. And with that extra fifth round pick the Lions got from the early trade, they added potentially a new returner in Jason Huntley. He's a running back from New Mexico State who may be a little bit undersized, but he has excellent top end speed. He can both run and catch out of the backfield as well as play on special teams. So he should be a compliment to both Carrion Johnson and DeAndre Swift. The final two Lions picks were Utah run stuffer John Passini in the sixth round. And in the seventh, they added another Buckeye defensive end. Jay Sean Cornell. All in all, the Lions had a productive draft this year, but it only matters if it shows up on Sundays in the fall.